This is the predecessor to the KT739A, and uh, this is just one of the works in progress, and I just kind of wanted to show it real fast just to show, yes, th there's a method to my madness, or at least there's a design process, but I also wanted to say sorry for making this video late. I'm trying to have sort of a schedule again, but um, basically what happens is bad mental health. I have really bad problems with depression and such, and I've actually been in the hospital for about a week not too long ago. Uh, if you're on my Discord server, you would know about that a little bit. Um, I forget if that's in the description of any of my recent videos, but I'm going to add it back. And I just wanted to say, yeah, I'm still here. I just really struggle with the staying here part. Anyhow, Today I really want to look at the process behind building what I call the uh, the KAV-42, which is based on the AV-42 from the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the, I can't think of the name right now, the, that one game, VTOL VR, VTOL VR by M Baha Muto, because I kind of made a very small, simple replica of it, essentially. And you see right now, this has two sets of Juno engines clipped into each other. This is basically uh, pretty much the final design, as far as I know, which is interesting because it's saved as the work in progress one, and I have about... let's see, sorry, I'm scrolling off screen, but that scrolls KSP. I have nine work in progress versions saved, and I guess I had trouble with placing the landing gear and setting the controls up and whatnot. I thought I had more versions of it saved work in progress as I was designing the format of everything, but I'm just going to go through these real quick. And yeah, that visually looks the same. There might be minor tweaks, but I'm going to kind of skip things that uh, are not immediately obvious. This one, I believe the, the engines are mounted lower, which I believe probably helps with stability somewhat, or helps with the aesthetic a little bit. There's also this extra intake in here, which I believe wasn't in the previous version. And you can see just a little bit more refinement. I was working out the angle of how these engines would work for regular flight. Still hadn't put any landing gear on it, but I was just trying to work out positioning on the engines. And I believe... Okay, the thrust to weight ratio is good. I'm pretty sure I added another set of Juno engines in there, though. And at this point, you can see that the landing gear were added, just a typical try affair. And I didn't try to bother with having something that could retract in any way. I figured that this particular design was not going to end up being anything like a fighter. It was going to be just a transport. I forget if this uh, this little clipped-in Octo-2 Probodyne was in here previously, but it is in there. So basically you want to control from here so that your control point is facing forwards instead of down because the main cockpit is pointing very dramatically down. And again, just more trying to line things up. You can notice that the tailplane is uh, angled down quite a bit now. And this one apparently has one extra part in it somewhere. I'm not quite sure where, but somehow it's been redesigned slightly. You can also see the, the bay closing here. I did redesign a couple of times, or at least work on a couple of times. It's, it's changed very subtly. Um, there's no seats in there or anything. I forget if I added them or I was intending to basically leave that open for customization. And this one, you can see, is named Is a Bad Idea. I don't remember what I changed here, but apparently I thought it was a bad idea. Apparently it's the third set of engines, as that's the only major difference here, unless that was on the previous one and I missed it. So unfortunately in this particular design I didn't get to show you a lot of the work in progress because a lot of it was managed to be completed as one piece and made only subtle variations on. But we do have this. I believe I most likely have used the translate forward and back. Yep to set the angle. So the translate forward and back are by default set to H and N, and uh, that, those just seem like a good set of keyboard controls for me to use that I rarely use for anything else. So they felt like they would be a good, a good place to put the target angle on these. And I don't remember what the actual limits on the target... Oh, I didn't put limits on it. That's interesting. I allowed it to have full rotation. That doesn't seem like a great idea, and I did keep the three engines, so again, I'm not quite sure what was the quote-unquote bad idea about version 
9. I also noticed that I, I just, I thought I had, you know, I thought I would put, like, you know, an end cap on the end here because that just feels like the right thing to do to close this off. Although apparently something is connected to it because um, I don't have the cheat enabled right now to connect anything anywhere and it doesn't give me a connection node back here. Oh well, it looks a little unfinished, but here we go anyhow. And as you can see, it's nighttime. That's probably not the best for video's sake, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip us forward. And there we go, nice, nice morning flight. And uh, like I said, I believe Agent Ooh, excuse me, Agent N control these, so we can go ahead and set up for a vertical takeoff. You can notice, however, despite the brakes being employed, oh yeah, these don't actually have brakes on them. That is a significant problem that I had yet to realize until literally just this moment. But that's rather unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and say, no, you're stopping. Nope, now it's going backwards. Now go forwards. I'm just trying to trying to keep us pretty much stationary so I can demonstrate that it does actually take off vertically and I'm cutting the throttle down just a little bit because it will destabilize things and now I'm throttling up more and pitching because it was falling over that quickly and yes this thing does have not the best flight characteristics and in fact oh, okay I do have it rooted to this part so that our control system is telling us that we're pointing straight ahead even though this is pointing down quite a bit. In fact, interestingly, that's not quite straight. In fact, it... huh. Okay. That's uh, that's actually working a little differently than I thought it was. That's interesting. I did have a live stream in which I made a carrier over here and I did try to land one of these on that carrier in the VTOL mode. It didn't go very well, but uh, since I'm showing it off again, I might as well try to make that function. I don't know if I have a specific key to open the rear door or not. I don't think I do. I'm hitting all the buttons. Oh, shit. Okay, apparently it's one. Number one will do that. I'm just going to turn the throttle down real low, and I'm going to start pitching. I'm going to set the pitch up. I'm also going to go ahead and hit this so I can see our thrust to weight ratio, which is not very good. Okay, there's the carrier. There's some pieces. Is that pieces of the carrier? I don't remember what happened out here to damage the carrier, but apparently something happened, and also we are falling a bit, so I'm going to try and not have us fall by turning up the throttle just a little bit. And we're going to come around to, oh no, I'm losing control slightly, I'm losing control slightly, I'm losing control a lot. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. So, this thing is very touchy. I believe I don't have any reaction wheels enabled, so I I literally only have the aerodynamic controls, which is probably probably a big fail with the design of this, because, you know, with something that's just using aerodynamic controls, you, you don't have a lot of room. Although, no, I do have the reaction wheels enabled. They're just, uh, I guess, not strong enough for this particular design. Ooh, I just tried to pitch in a way that it probably, it was not happy with what, what I decided to do. Um, one of the biggest difficulties, especially when you're having a, a rather unstable... Yeah, this, this craft is acting rather unstably, um, especially when I yaw. When I yaw, it tends to roll in the opposite direction, so perhaps I should yaw opposite the direction I'm intending to go. Or perhaps I should invert the yaw controls later on. Right now, though, I'm mostly concerned about getting us a little lower to the ground, but also trying to come in over the carrier. We're still going quite a bit forward, which I should be able to kill some speed with the... with the jets, obviously. Um, and, of course, we don't have to worry about landing gear. You probably heard a loud pop in the background. That'd be fireworks of some kind, I assume. It is... June. Hmm. For some reason I was thinking it was July, but then I was like, wait, but it's the 6th fireworks would have calmed down already, because America, fuck yeah. Alright, I'm uh, pecking the engines forward more, throttling them up a bit more, trying to slow down our velocity. Alright, we're rather slow. Uh, we are going up higher, though. That's not something I want. But we are rather stable, oh dear, until I start pitching too hard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a little 
a little difficult to control, to say the least, especially because our thrust to weight ratio is uh, definitely varying. Um, it's varying more than I expect it to, as well. Um, it's very hard to keep it around to one. I don't exactly have a hover assist control or something like that. Uh, we might actually need to throttle up even more. Yeah, because we're, we're not going to do it here. And right now it's uh, trying to, it's very much trying to come land over here when we need to turn around and go back to the carrier. Let's go ahead and set that. And we can try to match our target speed to bring us down. Here. Well, we touched it, broke our engines, and land next turn. Yeah, this thing's not very well to control. It was fun to make, but unfortunately not the best design. I'll still make a download available, but she's definitely not one of my highlights. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you badly failing at fighter jets, I guess? I do actually have some space things in the works right now, though, so that's pretty neat.